cardio health is hard for me. I started working on my cardio health a year ago in January of 2022. And at the time, my Apple Watch was measuring my VO2 levels at 19.6, 19.8, that area, which considering what they consider low is 20 to 26, that's down in the why aren't you dead yet range. And at the time I was dealing with major health issues that was about to get treated. Um, on the way through February and into March, my cardio health really didn't shift. In April, it got up to about 20, maybe a little over 20. In mid-April, I had internal surgery that removed an adrenal gland that was a big cause of my cardio problems and a bunch of other problems. And in May in particular, I was recovering from surgery. I started walking and my cardio health quickly accelerated. Some of that was just getting out and walking and doing daily cardio and making sure I get my work in. And a lot of that was also the aftermath of the surgery, which greatly lowered my blood pressure and made my potassium a not anymore, are you trying to kill yourself level. Um, so it kept climbing through the summer. In June, I started working on couch to 5k and started running. Um, by July, I was out doing park run 5Ks. Admittedly, I walked a lot of it, but I did run a bunch of it too. And my times were coming in around 40 minutes, which is certainly not ideal, but I wasn't generally the last person. It's progress. And after a while, my cardio broke, my, my VO2 levels measuring my cardio got up above 26. I got up to, I think, 26.4 on average in the month of August. So things were looking really good. I was making a lot of progress and I thought I could just keep doing this and I'd get myself from below average up into, what, above average? I don't know. The sky's the limit. And um, then Come September, I was getting less and less interested in running. I don't find running very exciting. I'd gotten more and more into hiking, which I do find exciting. And I thought that strenuous hikes could substitute for running for getting my cardio health up. This is probably not true because in September, my cardio health started to slip a little, at least as measured by the VO2 levels. And... In October, it slipped some more, and then it fell from below average to low. And my cardio work really fell off then too. I, from October, from September to October to November, things declined considerably. I started off November with COVID, which you know you're not walking, much less running when you have COVID and cold weather setting in because it's Minnesota and there was starting to get to be snow on the ground and it wasn't so much fun to walk. And I started trying to shift my way over to strength training and my cardio exercise levels, my active energy fell considerably. I was doing over 800 calories a day average of active energy during my peak months in July and August. And by November, I was mostly under 600. And that kept going through December. And my cardio kept declining. It got down to 24. And in January, I realized, well, this is just not working. I've got to get back to work and I've got to do the cardio and I've got another video coming about that and the measurements I took that helped me understand. But 
the important thing is, I realized I've got to get out, do my cardio every day, try to get myself up above 700 active calories a day at least, and make sure I'm walking every single day. I need to do some high intensity training or get back to running as well, but running in the winter is hard and I really don't enjoy treadmills. So trying to figure out ways to get my pulse up while stuck indoors in Minnesota in the winter, it's been a challenge. But you know, I'm doing the work. I'm still watching my cardio fall. I'm running about 23.8 this week and it really sucks. I need to get that up above 26 again, preferably above 27 and 28 and get it back up. And what I'm realizing at this point after my first month of, oh crap, I really need to get back to work on my health is this year is going to be a lot harder than last year. I'm going to have to work a lot more. I'm going to have to do more exercise, more focused exercise going to have to cut back further on my diet. The minor shaping that works so well in 2022 stopped working towards the end of October and it hasn't worked since. So there's work to do. It's going to be hard, but I need to do it.